Hey guys, and welcome to Where's the Scale. So this is uh, going to be one of those ChatGPT better than videos. <laughs> I usually get a lot of hate for those, but they're popular. So this time I'll be doing a comparison between ChatGPT and VidIQ or TubeBuddy. And I'm not saying ChatGPT is a substitute for those tools. Many people swear by them. But what I'm saying is that ChatGPT has some unique advantages and can do some, some of the things that VidIQ cannot. So I'll be showing you the two use cases. The first will be on real data. So this is one of my abandoned channels that I don't update anymore. This is about life purpose and manifestation. So we'll go straight to analytics. I'll select lifetime. And as you can see, we have views. Subscribers, impressions, click through rate for some of the videos. So what I'll do, I'll copy this in a table. This is the video title, the views, the subscribers, the CTR. We'll just copy this. And we'll head over to ChatGPT. And I have chosen GPT-4 for those of you playing at home. And so I'll be pasting in the table. And the only way I know how, at least for now, is to prompt the GPT-4 first. So I'll be pasting in information response with received okay so now to the actual prompt based on the information above create a mark down table and split the formation into four groups most views most subscribers best or highest highest CTR and lowest views and subscribers. Let's see what happens. Here's the information organized in a markdown table format, split into four groups based on most views, most subscribers, highest CTR, the lowest views and subscribers. So this is group one. And just to make sure everything is correct, so let's just remember the three biggest life purpose misconceptions. We have 7,000 views. And three biggest life purpose misconceptions, 7,000 views, 71 subscribers, almost 3% CTR. And once again, yeah, this information is correct. And I didn't even do the stuff that I usually do, con converting Excel into this format here, I just straight pasted the Excel information into the ChatGPT. So, okay, what it's doing right now, it's grouping all of my titles and there's going to be some overlap, obviously. And it didn't follow my command to the T. So as you can see, the first group is actually best both in terms of views and subscribers. The second group is like average views and subscribers. The third group is the best CTR, this is correct. And the fourth group is the so-so, which is the majority of the videos, but for our purposes, I won't be reprompting the chat GPT. I think this is sufficient. So we have basically three groups. The amazing group, the okay group, the high CTR group, and the so-so group. Okay, so based on the above table, Perform a semantic analysis and find commonalities between the videos within the same groups. Based on the semantic analysis of the video titles within each group, we can identify the following commonalities. So group number one, most viewed, focus on life purpose, manifestation, gratitude, videos offer solutions, tips and insights, address broad relatable topics that appeal to a wider audience. 
Group 2 most subscribers topic include life purpose, financial loss, emotional informations. Title suggests actionable steps or strategies. Role play dealing with financial loss, understanding emotions. High CTR focus on mindfulness, greater than mantras. Titles are list based or emphasize involvement. Top 10 books, powerful mantra. And lowers views and subscribers. Topics include gratitude, starting over in self discovery. Titles may be more niche, addressing specific situations. Content may be may not resonate with broader audience due to its specificity. So okay, let's try to think about it. So this is a very small sample size, obviously just a handful of videos. These could have been much better on a larger uh, piece of data. But uh, as you can see, the most views uh, got the videos that offer solutions, tips or insights. Most subscribers were brought by videos about actionable strategies and concrete steps you can take to learning a skill, a trick or rectifying your situation. And the highest CTR was the least based videos. And what can you do to make them better based on the above? Suggest top 10 video ideas for most subscribers. Based on semantic analysis of the groups with the most subscribers, here are the top 10 video ideas. Five steps to discover your true life purpose. Mastery emotions, techniques for emotional intelligence. Overcoming fear and self-doubt, a path to confidence. And it's giving you the titles as well as the ideas. So it gives you a brief explanation and the title idea as well. Transform your life with these seven powerful affirmations, creating powerful daily gratitude practice. And yeah, if I was interested in this niche and if I was still active on that channel, I would just <laughs> actually record all of this. And again, disclaimer, this will work best on a larger set of data but what we did to sum up we went to channel analytics we downloaded the data we inserted the data in a table format into ChatGPT. then we grouped the data then we asked ChatGPT to perform semantic analysis and find commonalities between the groups and then based on that we have chosen one group which is most subscribers and asked ChatGPT to generate 10 video title ideas. So I think, I think this is extremely powerful and SpeedIQ and TubeBuddy cannot do that, at least not yet. So the second use case uh, of TubeBuddy and VideoIQ is finding keywords. And of course, ChatGPT will not be a substitute for that, but what we can do, and this is an interesting take on the problem, is find trends in videos in our topic. Manifestation is another much broader niche. Psychology behind manifestation. This is a TEDx speech. So let's see if this has been commented a lot. 83 commands. Well, it looks okay. What about this chick here? Yeah, perfect. 497 commands. So this is a recent video three weeks ago, uh, over 150,000 views. So let's use this URL. And we will go to commands, and you can use free online extractors, but I use Tube Atlas. Okay, so we'll select 10 page views and then scroll and extract. And here's the information. Let's tidy it up a little bit. So we'll go to text to columns. And we actually only need the actual command. And then what I like to do is to filter the information based on likes. If a command attracted a lot of likes, then it must be valid and shared by the community. So we can just basically copy everything here. Let's just say we're interested in anything above 10 likes. Analyze the below comments. These commands seem to be from viewers of Mary Kate videos, which appear to focus on manifestation, abundance, and positivity. The viewers are expressing gratitude and sharing their experiences. Some specific examples of positive experiences include medical aid covering hospital costs, costs receiving unexpected financial gains, and witnessing small manifestations. 
So this is basically a rundown of what the comments are talking about, but we don't want that. What we want is to extract questions based on the above, generates a list of 10 popular questions people may have. How can I start manifesting buttons? What are the most effective techniques for manifesting positive outcomes? How do affirmations work? How often should I use them? How can I build trust and faith in the manifestation process? And this is golden. Are there any specific strategies to help me manifest better health? How do I maintain a positive mindset? What role does gratitude play in the process of manifesting my desires? So this could be used again as a video title or a self-sufficient article. And we can uh, ask ChatGPT to rewrite the above under 60 characters, for example. And this is going to give us basically keywords, how to manifest abundance, top manifestation techniques, building trust in manifesting, strategies for health, wealth and love, letting go of limiting beliefs and uh, ignore the question marks, but this could be played around with. So this was case use case number two. Basically, you can, uh, in the first part, we analyzed our video titles and got insights of why they performed the way they did and got some new video ideas based on the top performing videos. And in the second part, we took a trending video on a topic that we're interested in. We analyzed the comments and we extracted questions that people may have about that specific topic. So that was it for today. Hopefully you found this video helpful. All these prompts are going to be in the prompts library. Like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.